Miss Nene and welcome to Miss Nene's Art. Today guys, I am going to be painting on a 18 by 24 inch canvas. I will be doing a Dutch pour. I'm also going to be attempting uh, something that's sort of like a wave um, with a dark um, background. The look I'm going for is a night wave, a wave at night. So my background is going to be either a dark blue or black. I haven't decided yet. I'll decide in a moment. But these are the colors that I will be using for my wave. I'm using all metallics, well, with the exception of two. Um, all the all the Arteza paints I'm going to be using today are going to be um, metallic. So pearl ocean blue. Pearl Sea Green. Pearl Sky Blue. Pearl Glacier Blue. I'm going to be using um, Master's Touch Phalo Blue. And Master's Touch Ultramarine Blue. And the white I'm going to be using is a Color Shift White, um, Color Shift Folk Art Metallic um, White Flash. So, I mean, I don't know how that's going to look, but I wanted to use that to see. So, this is what I'm planning. Um, hopefully it turns out the way that I plan it. <laughs> um, so here's my plan. I want it to be sort of like a waterfall. So there's going to be maybe some negative space up here. This would be the negative space over here. That'll be, I guess, the background sky. And I want the flow of the water to come like down. And then maybe splash and fall off on this side. So you can imagine like a little hump. The water will be going down this way, this way, and then eventually feather off over there. That's what I see in my head. Now, whether or not I can actually do that <laughs> remains to be seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my paints and I will be right back. Okay, so I decided to use the phalo blue as my background. I added a little bit of black. Looks like I need to add a little bit more just to get it slightly darker. Thank you. 
doing this wave waterfall was um, a bit of a challenge for me. So I was tweaking and trying to get it just right. So I had to use my little blower here to get more detail out of it. Um, but yeah, what you see me doing now is just trying to make it look more realistic, trying to get um, the wave to go exactly where I want it to go. So um, basically that's what I'm doing. So just keep watching, check out how it turns out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing a lot of things to this painting. <laughs> it's really challenging. You know, this is my very first time attempting this. Um, I'm doing a lot of tweaking. I didn't like those little wispy, spiky things that I put on there with my palette knife. So I'm just getting rid of those. But you know what? Let me tell you something. For me, this is just fun. I mean, I take it seriously. I do enjoy creating things, but I don't take it like too seriously to where I'm going to beat myself up if something's not going out right. I mean, coming out right. Um, just have to remember, you got to just have fun with these things, you know. Um, just do the best you can. Don't put too much, um, don't put too much into it. What I mean by that is don't beat yourself up too hard if something's not turning out the way that you want it or you envision it, um, because that's happened to me plenty of times. Um, I've had an idea of something that I wanted to do and then I started doing it and it just, sometimes I've, I've been able to save it. Other times I had to scrape it and then get really irritated that, uh, um, that I've wasted all that paint. Um, but, um, but it's fun. I mean, in the long run, you have more successes than you do failures. Um, and even if you, if, even if it's the other way around, I mean, you're only going to get better from here. So do not give up. Just keep going. Now, this right here, I had to scrape because ugh, that was bothering me. Um, in some areas, I can see that the paint was a little thicker than I needed it to be when I was mixing it. It didn't look like it. But after it got on the board and after I was working with the other side of the canvas, I, it just looked like it was thickening up. So... What I did here was just scrape it, you know, like I said, wasting paint, but you will see that at the end, it turned out perfect. This is the part that I hated, but you know, you gotta do it. So all I did here was just scrape the paint, add more white because I feel like it needed more white in areas. And um, yeah, I just kept on going. I didn't get, I got a little frustrated, but don't let the frustration take over. Just have fun, have fun, have fun. And then uh, nothing's better than when you see that your painting is going in the wrong direction and you're able to just calm down and look at it and go, okay, now what do I need to do? And then in the end, it turns out fine. And even if it doesn't, stencil works. Trust me, I have stenciled many paintings that look crappy and... <laughs> 
Um, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna waste this paint. I ain't gonna waste this canvas. I'm gonna do something with this. <laughs> so I just put some stencil on and it looked beautiful. So that's my advice for the day. So keep watching and check out how it turns out in the end. All right, so here it is, my interpretation of a waterfall wave. Uh, it's I did a lot of tweaking off camera because there was still so much that needed to be done and I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time and bore my viewers by sitting up there having you watch me do that. So yeah, um, you know, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, of course not. And is it exactly the way that I, I wanted it? Close, but no. Um, but I'm still proud of it. I'm proud because it's the first time I've ever attempted to do this and it turned out okay. It wasn't a mess. It wasn't ruined and it's not the perfect, most perfect, beautiful wave I've ever seen. But hey, it was my first try. So give me some slack there. Um, here it is, semi dry enough for me to stand it up so you can see it better. Um, but I like it. So my message to people who are just starting out. Or people who, you know, try something for the first time and it doesn't come out right. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep on doing it. Use this as an experience so you can look at it and see what you could do better. Because I'm, I'm looking at it and I can see that there are things that I would definitely do differently the very next time I do um, this painting or a painting like this, this type. So let me know what you think, how this turned out in the comments below. Your feedback is appreciated as always. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and watch me do more experimental paintings and other things like that. But I look at it, I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it looks pretty decent for my first try. I have to say, I think it looks okay. Perfect, no, but I like it. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.